What makes a device a smart device? What makes a lock a smart lock? Do you actually need a smart lock? And if you do, is the Wii lock a good choice? Well, stick around and we will look at this smart lock from Wii lock. We'll start in a couple of seconds. Let's start with the full disclosure. This Wii lock was sent to me free of charge for the purposes of the review, but also money was not exchanged and I did not send this video to the Wii lock prior to releasing it. Everything you see here is my opinion. It may be different or same as the Wii lock opinion and it can be different than your opinion, but actually we all have a right to our own opinion. So let's start the video by unboxing it. Each Wii lock comes in this box and it has a very specific seal. Once you open it, everybody else will know that this box has been tampered. That's one of the ways to ensure that nobody has pre-programmed or touched your lock. So it should be clean start for you and no other pins, fingerprints or something else should be pre-configured on that lock. Inside the box you can see the lock itself, the tags that can be used to open or close the door and also box with all the screws, nuts, bolts and tools that you will need to install the lock. The tags that are included are really nice. They are like a small puffy pillow. They feel really solid and I think that they will sustain a heavy use. Next is the box with the tools. Inside you will find pin to reset the lock screws, nuts, bolts and also some protection caps that you can use later on to seal the lock itself. The lock feels very nice. It's not just feels okay but really sturdy. I was really 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 surprised on how well it felt when I opened it and took it in my hand. Images don't suit well this lock. I was really skeptical about this external part because that's the part that people have access to. And if it's not well built, well, it can be opened, destroyed or whatever. But actually, after you take it in your hand, rotate the lock itself and feel this external part with the fingerprint reader, it's surprisingly well built. And I do really mean that as a big, big, big compliment. But before we jump into the installation process, let's quickly look at the web page. Hey, past me from the future me. Before I continue talking about the Whatever, I'll continue in a couple of seconds. Let me just give you a brief note. I was warned or informed by Willock that there is a discount code. So whatever I tell after this message, just bear in mind that down in the video description there is a discount code. And that means that the price will be reduced from original 189 euros to 136 euros, according to Willock. The items are shipped within 24 hours from the European warehouse and the shipping is also free of charge. Plus, it comes with a two-year warranty. And now I leave you with whatever past me wants to tell you. Okay, first thing, let's talk about price. I am still not sure if this is worth 189 euros. I will talk a little bit later on on what you can do with the lock. But looking at everything, I really wish and hope that for this price, the Wi-Fi gateway is also included in the package. But also the second question rises, should you buy a Wi-Fi gateway? The Wi-Fi gateway itself has its own purposes. For example, if you are not at home, then you can use the Wi-Fi gateway to unlock the door for somebody who is in front of the door. But actually, without the Wi-Fi gateway, you add one additional layer of security. If you're using this lock here, without the Wi-Fi gateway, you have three options on how you can access the door. First is to have your fingerprints rolled in inside the system. Means that somebody has given you permission and you have enrolled the finger that you will be using to open the door. The second one is uh, NFC tags, the tags that are included. And yes, you can buy extra tags, but I think three of them are enough. If the tag has been also enrolled in the system and none of the tags are pre-enrolled, after you install the lock, you have to add them and give them access rights. And the third option, of course, is to have mobile app. 
and of course that your app has been authorized with that lock and then you can use your mobile phone to open the door. There is also one other model of the lock, that one uses pin pad, which when I think of it can be better to for example create some one time uses or limited time uses pins and then have them ready to give away when somebody needs it. With this type of lock you do not have that kind of a freedom. So actually is the Wi-Fi gateway something you should be buying if you are considering to buy this lock or not, it's all up to you. Without it you have one less issue that can potentially compromise your system. If you do decide to go with the gateway, price of 239 euros is a bit steep. And that's why I said I wish that in price of 189 euros the gateway was also included. Actually here we are talking about the Bluetooth gateway and when we are mentioning Bluetooth, no, at this point you cannot connect this lock with Home Assistant. You never know what future will bring. But we will be talking about smart functionality later in the video. Let's look now how easy it is to set everything up. First step is to locate the door where you want to replace the lock. This was not my first target, but actually when I tried to enter the basement of our summer house, I found that the lock was destroyed. It simply didn't work anymore. I don't know if the water ran into the lock itself, froze and broke the pins, but the key would just turn, turn, turn and the lock would not open. So this was a great candidate to replace that specific lock. After you have removed your previous lock, it's very easy to install everything. You need the Allen key that is included inside the box to unscrew the screw that is holding the inner part of the lock. The external part is a single piece and you cannot remove it, which is also a security measure. Next you have to align the screw that you removed when you removed your previous lock to tighten everything up. And the last step is of course to return the inner part of the lock. Make sure when you return everything that you can from the inside still open the door. Tighten everything up and the physical installation is actually done. Now remove the cover from the outside of the lock. This will give you access to the USB port that you can use with the power bank to temporarily power the lock. You cannot use this to charge the batteries inside. Open the cover and you have access to a slot where you need to insert three AA batteries. Close the cover, use the provided screw and tighten everything down. Which reminds me, if for example the batteries die, you will need to have access to this screwdriver to unscrew the compartment where the batteries are. And also you will need access to the Allen key that is used to remove the outer cover. So keep it hidden somewhere in a car or whatever. And the next step, we need to install the app. Remember, at this point no fingerprint has been authorized and each of the fingerprints you try will probably unlock the door. The first thing you will need to do is add admin access or admin fingerprint. And after that only admin or normal user fingerprints that can be easily enrolled can be used to unlock the door. The same goes for the NFC tags. You will need to scan them or add them to the lock so you can give access to each of the tags depending on the settings that you want to give to that specific tag. But as I mentioned, first you need to download the app, click on OK on user agreement, select your country, enter the phone number or email, you should receive via text message your verification code and use that code to log in. And now we can add devices. Click on plus to add new device and then select either VLOG or a gateway. We will be adding VLOG, so we need to scan the QR code. Well, this is the first mistake I made. There is a lock ID that you need to enter and the lock ID is etched on the lock on the inner part. So once again, I had to disassemble everything and write down that number. Click on OK and your lock should be bound to your account and that should be also bound to your mobile phone. You now have one lock added. The authorization is actually my phone number. 
You can now add members, rename the lock in the lock settings, check the model, check and do the upgrade if there is an upgrade available, check the history of the lock on who was the last person and how it authenticated. I did add all my cards. And the setup process is actually very simple. You click on add card, set validity period for that card, scan the QR code that is located on the card itself, and that's it. This card is now bound to this lock. At glance, front screen will give you some information about the lock. For example, down, you can see the icon called front. You can select if this is your front lock, backup lock, etc. You can also see the state and the signal quality if you have Wi-Fi gateway. You can, of course, add other users to the system. They can be either administrators, meaning that they can control the lock itself, or just visitors that have access. And you can give access, start time, end time, duration in terms of minutes, years, etc. A lock itself can be added to smart assistants, but for that, you do need gateway. How easy it is to operate the lock itself, and how fast does it work? Actually, with the fingerprint reader, it is really, really, really fast and it's been really accurate. From all the testing I did, I think that each time it recognized my finger, my recognized fingers, because I did enroll a couple of fingers after first press. Same goes for the NFC tags. You press the button to wake up the lock, which is also a great idea because it means that the lock is not wasting energy, it's waiting for the button to be pushed. You read the tag or fingerprint and that's it. But now comes the hard part. Is this lock for you? I have no idea. I will not be using it in my apartment. Here I have other lock from other manufacturer. It has hub. It is connected to Home Assistant, I can unlock or lock the door or check the status of the lock with this lock. I'm still not sure, and I was debating with my colleagues in the office, what makes a device a smart device? Is slapping a Bluetooth and batteries in it everything it needs to be a smart device? Then sure, this is a smart device. Does this lock have some other benefits that other manufacturers have? No, it doesn't. For example, I haven't figured out, maybe it has the geolocation functionality. If I do arrive next to the door, either to have pop up on my screen saying, do you want to unlock the door or for the door to unlock itself. But also one question, do you want to have that functionality at your front door or your back door or your apartment door or whatever? That's also a good question. I know that a lot of you will say, I want to keep my lock local. I want to have key for the lock. And in this case, actually, we are just replacing key with either NFC tag or our finger, which is great because my kids probably will not forget fingers when they go out. They do often forget the keys. In that case, this lock may be something that fits your needs or your family needs. I'm not sure how hard would it be to break in this lock. I did see a video and probably your door will last less than this lock. In that video from the factory, they are using hammers to break the lock out. Actually, they didn't manage to break it, but they did at the end break the door. So that's a plus. It does feel sturdy. It does feel solid. It has some nice options if you are forgettable and forget your keys. But once again, for 189 euros, I really wish and I really hope that the Wi-Fi gateway will be included. Should you buy this lock? Yes, if it matches what you want to see. Will there be Home Assistant integration with the gateway? I have no idea. Without gateway? I have no idea. With Bluetooth proxy? Really no idea. I really hope and I wish that there would be some kind of integration. My suggestion to Willock is to send this lock to Bidraco and see if he can figure something out and include this lock in an official list of Home Assistant supported devices via the Bluetooth proxy. I will be keeping this lock in use. For me, it fits the purpose. I've already given out the NFC tags to my family members, so now even if they forget the keys, 
they can always enter the summer house. How long the batteries will last? Who knows, we will see. That door is not open that often. Will it survive the rain, the sun, the cold and the hot weather we get there? I'll tell you in a year or two. If you do think that this lock fits your profile, the link to that lock is down in the video description. And if you did find this video useful, don't forget to give me a like. And I myself want to thank all those wonderful people that are supporting me and that have become YouTube channel members. Thank you all for all of your support. But also thanks to each and every one of you who has watched, liked or subscribed to my channel. If you too want to support the channel, you can do so by clicking the join button down below and becoming a YouTube channel member. I don't have a Patreon account and will probably never have. But also you can check out the link in the video description go to my merchandise store and buy something there. It's not called merch store because we are adults. And I will be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun.